Hey everybody, it's Michael. Um, today I'm working on a really simple project. It's for myself and um, it's a bed size quilt with big 10 inch squares that I've got on point. And um, I just have kind of rows of, of um, fabric growing across. Going across. Um, and I'm just doing a continuous curve on this, um, just something really loose. I may end up going through here and maybe putting you know, a straight line or two or something in here, I'm not sure. Um, but the idea was just very, very loose quilting. Um, and um, I wanted to talk to you about choosing curves for doing this. So like I said, the, the block was 10 inches. Um, I cut it from yardage, but this will certainly work with 10 inch um, um, pre-cuts. Um, so there are different options for us. And the first thing I do, if I'm gonna think about using the curves is just audition them to see what fits. Okay, obviously my eight doesn't fit, doesn't go across. Okay, um, the 10, um, also it's a little short. Okay, but I like that the lower numbers are going to have more of um, a curve that goes into the block, if that makes sense, because it's a, uh, it's a less shallow curve. So, you know, a 10 would give you, we would go closer into the center, but that's too small. So I thought, okay, 12 is perfect. Um, the 12 would be perfect, and that's kind of what I started with. And, um, you know, it goes into the block a good two inches, uh, a little over two inches, two and a quarter inches, if that matters to you. But anyway, as you can see, I can go corner and corner, and this would be perfect. However, when you're doing this, I want you to remember that as you go around and do the blocks, this direction, you know, is fine all the way around. But when you come back for the next pass, you're going to have to use, you're gonna to have to either go behind the needle and do your wrist bending, like I told you about, which I consider very uncomfortable. Um, because um, unless you use the inside curve, and oh, sorry, I guess I should have go back, I should go back. The 12 doesn't work without having to do that because the inside curve is not long enough. When you look at, look at it on this block. Um, do you see I'm slightly short? I can't get all the way out here, which means I'd have to start out here and then transition. So, and I mean, but you could use it, like I said, because you could go and reach behind the needle. But what I'm saying is this probably isn't the most efficient curve size to use. Sorry, it's upside down. Um, so, going to the 16, watch what happens with that. The 16 obviously is easy for going this direction, and you can see that's what I used. And also, when you come to the next pass, and you, because this is the same curve, remember my rulers have the same curve on both sides, there, and I thought, okay, that's perfect, because now when I use the inside, I can get to the same points without moving the ruler um, and they'll be consistent. Okay, not saying that you can't, you know, make the 12 work, but anyway, that's the reason that I went to the 16. It's so that I can have the ruler closest between me and, you know, my body and the, um, the needle and I wouldn't have to go and reach behind like this, because you know I don't like to do that. <laughs> now, um, I could have also used the 20 but um, the bigger you go, the more shallow the curve. So you see, I would barely be going into the block and I do wanna have more quilting, you know, into the block. So this 20, you can see the line it would have produced. It would be less than that one and so on and so forth. So anyway, um, that's the reason that I chose the 16. Now I've got um, some footage of me quilting this. It's not real exciting cause I'm just doing the same thing over and over, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway because, um, you know, some people like to just, you know, watch people quilt and how they hold their hand and on the ruler, et cetera, et cetera. I taught a class yesterday, um, very small, social distance, masks and everything. Um, and um, I keep forgetting that people like to see me demo. I, th I mean, they love the hands-on, but they like to watch too. So I'm just gonna have you, um, if you wanna watch, watch. If you're finished <laughs> with the video, move on and I'll see you next time when I have something a little bit more intricate to show. Okay, anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you next time, bye.